I always like to put a little never seize on these splines because we'll be taking them off and on. Okay, here we go. We're going to set our straight edge in and we're going to set it inside on the outer flat face of the sprocket. And just gently move it around, gently, until you have it balanced. Now what we have is a parallel line coming off that sprocket. Now as we move to the front sprocket, we're just going to try to slide it through. Slide it right by the front sprocket. And as you can see, both faces are set up. real real close to straight. Now if we saw the space in the front like this we would know we'd have to add to the front a spacer in order to get the sprocket out further. If we saw it setting inside the gear and not able to go in the front we'd know that we'd have to reduce the size of the spacer in the back behind the sprocket to bring it out straight. Now what we've done is we've placed that 90 thousandths in there and it's worked out real good for us.